Welcome to this absolute beginner series for Unity. In this first part, we will download Unity, get it set up, and even start our first project. So without further ado, let's start. First thing you need to do is of course download Unity Hub. Link is in the description below. We'll bring you to this site and make sure that you have read the terms of service and that you are eligible for Unity Personal. Now for most people, this should be the case. These are some of the criteria. Then you can confirm and download Unity Hub. Once it's downloaded, we can just start it, say yes. We'll get the installation window, we'll say yes. If you wanna change the directory where this is installed, you can of course change it. I'm gonna keep it as default and click install. And after a few moments, it's installed and we can click done. Unity Hub will open and you might get this window defender. Notice here, we will simply allow access and then we are done. The first thing that we wanna do is log into a Unity account. Now you might not have one, you can simply go up here, sign in, and then you can, for example, create one or you can just sign in. Let me just quickly sign in. I already have an account. Right, and once you're signed in, the interesting tab for us is the installs. Now I already have some versions of Unity installed, but you can add new ones by clicking this add button. And then you can see, you can either get some recommended releases, some official releases from older versions, or even a pre-release beta for the newest version. For this short tutorial series, we were going to use the 2023 version and whatever the number afterwards is, is not that important. Usually those are some bug fixes and some minor, minor features that are added. Uh, the important thing is that we're using 2020.3. Click next. Now when it comes to the dev tools, there's an interesting thing. So we are going to be using Visual Studio Community 2019. I personally already have that installed on my computer. If you don't have that, you can simply check that box and then it's going to install that as well. Definitely make sure that the documentation is checked. This should be done by default. Like I said, I already have Visual Studio installed, so I'm going to uncheck that, but I do advise you to install that as well. Click done. And once again, we'll agree here. And then as you can see, it is going to be installed. The download and installation might take a while, depending on your internet speed and how fast your computer is. So just be patient and wait until it's installed and then we can proceed. Right, the version is now finally installed and we can proceed to go to projects. If this is the first time you're using Unity Hub, it should look exactly like this. You have no projects here. If you have multiple Unity versions installed, you'll have this little arrow here. So you go to new and then choose the version that you want. We're gonna choose the newest version and this new window will pop up where we can choose a template. We'll be choosing the 2D template in this case. You can also define a location and a project name. We're gonna call this the basic tutorial and then hit create. You'll probably get a defender warning again. Just agree to that. And it might take another minute for the Unity window to open. On first start, it needs to import some things and get some assets ready. So just be patient for that and then the window will open in no time. And here we are in Unity. If this is the first time seeing this, it can be a little daunting. There's a lot of things here, but rest assured, don't worry about it. We'll go through each of them in a very short overview right now. What is important and what you can ignore for the time being. And let's see. So we'll actually start bottom to top. So at the bottom here, we can see there's a project window. This is basically the folder structure that we find ourselves in. So each Unity project has a folder structure. And by default, there is a scenes folder inside of an assets folder, as you can see. And if you open that, you can see there is a sample scene in here. This sample scene is also the scene that is open. You can see that in the hierarchy here. So the hierarchy will display the open scene or open scenes, and it will also display what objects are present in the scene. So you could, for example, see that there is a main camera object. So if we just left click on this, it will highlight it to the right here in this scenes window. And what you will also see is that in the inspector window, there's a lot of data that is all of a sudden being displayed. When we have selected this object here, this is where we can change values that are related to the object that we have selected. There are also some tabs. There's the game view. This is the view that you will have when you're actually playing the game. The asset store, which for our purposes is not important at the moment. So you can close this by either right clicking and close tab or middle mouse button clicking on it. And then down here, there's also the console where things are going to be output. So we can basically in our code, put certain instructions in and they will then output code to the console. This is really important and really useful for debugging our code and just for seeing what happens. And then one last thing, and if you look up here, we have a play button, a pause button, and sort of a step button. Those should be almost self-explanatory. The play button simply starts the current scene that we have open, the pause button pauses the scene, and the step button advances one frame in that scene. The rest of the buttons and the rest of the craziness we will explore further down the line when we're actually a little bit into it when we need them. However, there is one last thing. This is the default layout of Unity. 
However, I personally work in a different layout and I have this saved here. So this is, I call this the KJ layout. So we're just going to switch to it. And as you can see, a few things have shifted around. I will have a download to the layout file in the description below. If you want to follow exactly, you can go here and load layout from file and then basically just import the file. And then you will have the exact same layout. Just as a quick recap, the hierarchy has moved here to the right side. The inspector is still on the very right. The project window actually is no longer in the tab with the console. The console is on its own and the project window has sort of a more hierarchical view instead of this explorer view. But once again, that is not necessary. This is just something that I personally do. Right, and here we are. The first project is created. If you're struggling with anything, of course, always feel free to leave me a comment and I'll be sure to assist you in the comments below. And also make sure to check out the right video that is appearing on your screen now. As soon as it's out, it's going to be writing our first script. So, yeah.